great. I am at my brother's house. Yes, darling. What do you need? Um, so I'm at Christmas house because we're gonna write today and get some work done. But it's the best place to bring your baby because there's like a thousand other kids here. So I can kind of just plop him down on the ground and he like just gets plays with other kids. And it's like, hopefully they survive. And they kind of that's, is that why you have so many kids? They just all like kind of hang out together. Yeah, we got all the gates and stuff. Well, we got yeah. all the kids. Yeah, we already have all the stuff. For we're it. all prepped. We're prepped for you. Alrighty. Well, um, we're gonna write, and he's gonna play, and I need sleep, but not as bad as the people who live in this house. <laughs> I'm home. I'm very tired. I wrote with Christopher. It was really fun. I'm really excited about the stuff we're writing. Don't get excited. That doesn't mean anything. In Los Angeles, everyone writes a million things. Christopher and I already wrote a movie script. We finished a movie script months ago. Obviously, nothing has happened um, because that's how Hollywood works. You write stuff, you make stuff, and it's a miracle if it ever gets made. Don't know how Haters Back Off was made because getting stuff made in LA is really hard. So we already wrote a movie script earlier this year, and now we're on to writing the next project while we're trying to get someone to want to make the movie. Now we're writing a new thing because we got to keep these creative juices flowing y'all so we're writing this new project um that i love and i really hope it gets made <laughs> someday maybe if not it's okay it's fun to write it so uh, christopher's actually coming over tonight with his whole family they're going to see a kids bop concert and then they're coming over here so that christopher and i can kind of pull an all-nighter and write some more because we have a meeting tomorrow during haters back off or while we were trying to get haters back off sold i didn't tell you guys anything like it was a complete secret that we wrote a show. It was a complete secret that we sold the show. I didn't tell you nothing until the show was announced that we were doing it and that we were starting to shoot it, starting casting. Like, So I was secretly writing the show for years before I told you guys anything. And this time I wanna do it differently. So I'm going to try to keep you guys in the loop as much as I can with stuff. Just so you understand how the process works. That way I think it'll be cool whenever the movie gets made or if this new thing we're writing gets made if it ever happens you guys can be like oh my gosh i remember when she uploaded a vlog talking about writing this six years ago or whenever you know it finally gets made because haters back off took nine years it, it took forever to get it made um so i think it'd be cool to document the process so basically we wrote a movie script and people have been reading it and hopefully someday someone's like i like this i want to help you guys make it but that's that so now we're writing a new thing and tomorrow we have a meeting with a production company and we just talk to them, meet with them, see if we vibe together, see if we get along, if we could work together someday. Maybe there are people who'd want to make something with us, maybe not. Maybe they are people who might just want to work with us on something different in the future. I don't know. So um, Christopher and I are going to write all night long so that we have some really good things to pitch to them tomorrow. But anyway, I hear my baby and my husband. Is it me? Baby! Hey. Hi, baby. <laughs> you eating a car? Okay. This little mongrel keeps going on the counter. My whole family's here, guys. I don't think I mentioned when I said they were coming over. They're spending the night. Like an epic slumber party. It's already past one's bedtime. He just went to bed. How's your noodles? Good. <laughs> God blorp. Uh, <laughs> you only know that reference if you watch the Ballinger family vlogs on their channel. God blorp. That's like the best part of your vlogmas so far. But it's the, oh, oh God blorp. I don't know why I think Luca passed up the best moment the other day. Yeah, he, he did. did. Okay, <laughs> there, I still think you're lying. It, uh, oh, was that true? I think I'm lying. I pre watched the video like 15 times going like, that sounds like a tooth machine. Okay, so they have a video of their new baby boy pooping, cool. question mark? Yeah. And it sounds not real. It sounds so fake sound effect. Like I would have been like, no, we need to find a realistic sound effect for a fart if I was producing it. The real one, it's yeah. too fake. It does not sound real at all. It's like <laughs> Like, yeah, she's like, oh, are you gonna smile? And he smiles and it makes, it's like the, I can't even replicate it. Merry Christmas. Wanna give a big smile? Well. Was that real? It's the loudest, most cartoon <laughs> fart it's, it's sound. Aggressive. It's so okay. intense. It's not real. It's even more than that. It was like flappy, perfect cartoon farting. <laughs> 
and it didn't sound real at all. Even to the point where Christian was like, was that real? Yeah. And you were playing noise canceling canceling headphones. <laughs> I was editing in the same room and I heard the sound and I was like, was that him? Like what was that? It's insane. I cannot even believe it's real. So anyway, he outdid the God Warp from Duncan. <laughs> To be fair, that was about him also. And yeah, his that's gas. true. <laughs> so, uh, well, Christopher and I are basically zombies, but we're gonna do some writing. So, see you guys later. It's what time is it? We've been writing so for a while. Eleven thirty. It's fun writing with you, Christopher. It's fun writing with you, Corinne. We wrote. In case you didn't know, I don't know how you would know if you watched my channel, but we wrote "Haters Back Off" together, which is the show about this weird girl, and that's the poster for season one. We wrote and produced that show together. And then this year, we wrote a screenplay. I was telling them that this time around, with whatever projects we do, so, although I can't give you details on what the story is, I wanna tell, keep them involved because with haters, we didn't. With haters, it was like all of a sudden one day, I was like, I'm doing a TV show, oh, yeah. even though we'd been working on it for years. So this time around, even though I can't tell you any details on the projects themselves, on the stories, I can be like, we're going to a meeting to pitch blank you know like a show or like I'm, yeah. let them know we wrote a movie doesn't mean anything we're hoping someone will buy it now we're writing a show concept a tv show concept that we really like with new characters and we're gonna talk about all the stuff we're working on tomorrow in a meeting so the meeting tomorrow is not for anything in particular other than just to get to know these people and talk about the projects we're working on um but this time around, I was telling them that it'd be cool if like the show gets made six years from now. They yeah. can be like, oh, in December of 2019, they were writing this show. Did you tell them about the soap opera though? We are not writing a soap opera. Don't listen to him. Look at all of these humans. That's my name, don't wear it out. Hi, look at all these people in my house. Hello everybody, it's a little bit later and we just had our first meeting to talk about our screenplay that we wrote and also this TV show idea that we are toying around with. And it went really well, um, they're really nice and yeah, I mean it went as well as it could but like I said in the past with Haters Back Off, we had a million meetings and it took many many years for anything to happen so when i talk about this stuff i don't want you guys to think i'm being like oh my god i'm writing a movie and it's gonna happen oh my god i'm writing a tv show it's gonna happen like the the likelihood of it happening is slim to none because that's how hollywood works um but i want to bring you guys along on the journey in case it does happen then you guys have been part of it the whole time so it went well i think but who knows home from our meeting to a lot of humans this is the quietest it's been since i got home you can only hear a few people, but we've got Duncan playing over here. Christopher's feeding a baby over there. Parker's right here. I'm doing something. Okay. I shouldn't do it, but I'm gonna, I have high heels. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Whoa, be careful. Those are gorge. I know. And then I can do another move. Um, okay. Let's doing Whoa. Whoa, that's good, Parker. Amazing. Woo, high kick. Oh my, oh my. Impressive, Parker. We've got Chef Jacob over here. What are you making, Chef Jacob? Crepes. Crepes? Jake is making crepes. He already made savory, now he's making dessert. We've got Mom and Baby Say Flynn hi. saying hi to Uncle Cory. And Bailey's doing something. We played the game of life, and so mm. she's figuring out who won. I'm already playing the game of life. Yeah. I don't need to play it on a board. Okay. You guys, I realized something. What? We have, okay, so my family does Advent every day, but I never really do Advent. But I bought a 12 days of socks, and I didn't start it. So how many days are left till Christmas? Nine. Nine. So I need to open three I socks. Think. Parker, do you want to do number one? Yeah. Mm. Oh, here we go. What is it? It's a thingamabob. It's a llama. <laughs> a llama with a, a little cactus on its oh, back. Man. That's cute. Okay, Bailey, you want to do number two? Sure. Oh, I mean, wow. That's awesome. Sloth? I wasn't expecting a sloth. Right? <laughs> this is Mary Slothmas. Oh, I see polka dots. Ooh, they're ankle socks. Ooh, Plain. I like those ones. Plain ankles. I know, that one's gonna hurt. Sloths okay. and llamas with cactuses. I know, and you got Flynn poke dots. Flynn, you want to open up your Santa Claus? He doesn't want it. I want it. 
You've never seen one before. One, two, He doesn't get the humor of a fart yet. He'll get it eventually. That's okay, we enjoy a toot. Yeah. So we can enjoy his toot present, even though he does not. The green one. Toot away. Mm -hmm. Whoa, toot! Flynn likes the trash. So, very on brand with being a baby. He likes the trash. Whoa, that was chunky. You probably have some turd nuggets in your pants with a toot like that. We are at Best Buy because uh, we need a DVD player. I'm part of the Writers Guild, which is um, awesome for many reasons, um, but I became part of the Writers Guild when we wrote Haters Back Off. And uh, one cool thing about being part of the Guild is that you get sent screeners of different movies um, and different TV shows and whatnot because they want you to watch them and see if you like them and vote for them and to win awards and stuff. So we get a lot of really cool DVDs this time of year and we basically have like all the movies that are coming out. We wanna watch them, but we don't have a DVD player. So we gotta get one because who watches DVDs anymore? Right, Flynn? Right. So we got Flynn a toy that I did not think I would ever get Flynn because we tend to just let him play with whatever he likes. I'm very gender neutral when it comes to kids playing with toys. I think kids should be able to play with toys. Doesn't matter if it's pink or blue or green or black or yellow or a doll or a car or whatever it is. Toys are toys, anyone should be able to play with it. My son happens to lean towards whatever is the most stereotypical boy things that we've been taught as a society are for boys. He likes cars and trucks. Until today, <laughs> Flynn lost his mind at Best Buy over this. So it is his favorite thing, he loves cars. Um, but it's a Barbie car and I am so excited because this is something that I loved growing up and I had a pink convertible Barbie car and I just assumed since he is starting to get a personality and he's showing us the things he likes and the things he likes are typically not, you know, dolls and Barbie type things. I thought, oh, okay, well that's just not something I'm gonna ever get my son because he's not into it. Uh, today he decided he liked the pink Barbie car. We showed him all the different toys and this one he just kept going back to and he narrowed it down to two different cars. There was one that had like balls and it was like a dump truck and this Barbie one. And he wanted the Barbie one. So he got a Barbie car today. And I'm very excited about it because I had one just like this except it wasn't as cool. Mine didn't sparkle. So this is amazing. Then you want your car? Yeah, you got it. You like your car? Is that pretty fun? You like your car? It's pretty sweet. Sweet ride, guys. It's been a night. I am so tired. But I really needed to film new Miranda videos because I hadn't filmed any in a really long time. Unfortunately, I only got one filmed and I didn't even finish it yet. I still have one more shot to get. And then I'm so excited I'm gonna take a shower <laughs> and I'm gonna watch TV with my husband or something, I don't know. Um, but first, I need to go light something on fire and get my final shot for the video that I'm shooting. So I'm gonna go do that and um, I am a weirdo and I have a weird job. Okay, bye.